What's going on fam, welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, the Morelia 2 made in Japan is one of my favorite football boots of all time. And in today's video, we're gonna explore sort of a special edition version of these boots. I know they're not technically like special edition, but they have a different stitching pattern over the course of the leather. Plus they're a amazing colorway and I couldn't not grab these. So without further ado, let's hop into the unboxing of the video. So very, very standard for the Mizuno brand is uh, these boxes. You've got the Made in Japan logo in gold here with the gold running bird blank on all sides except for here, which you actually have a picture of the boots. They're all white with a black running bird and red accents, which I just think looks absolutely insane. So these are the Morelia 2 Japan or made in Japan. These are a 27 centimeters, which equates to a US 9, a UK 8 and a Euro 42. And yes, that is true to size. I usually, most of the boots on the wall behind me are all nine US except for a few variations here and there. But yeah, true to size is a nine US, a 27 centimeters, a 42 or a 42.5, depending on the brand. Okay, let's get these unboxed boom in uh, typical Mizuno fashion you get the pretty lackluster black string bag which I've literally never used once in my life I think these end up being trash bags literally which is kind of unfortunate because these boots are just insane oh my days yes here we go look at those oh my oh my gosh that is literally the softest leather i think you could ever 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 ask for those are absolutely ridiculous look at how gorgeous those look in the comment section below let me know if there is a more premium leather experience than the morelia 2 made in japan and if you haven't tried the morelia 2 made in japan do not answer that question in the comments but I'd like you to answer the question, what is the most premium leather experience you've had? Because if you haven't tried these, you can't compare, okay? All right, so here we go. Morelia 2 made in Japan. And as you can see, the stitching pattern here on the forefoot is quite a bit different than the turquoise model, which I have behind me, which I'll grab in just a minute after we unbox these. But absolutely beautiful the leather is just i mean that is just outrageous so let's get these out of the box and we'll go from there here we go so there's that right shoe as well boom so we'll actually put these ones down because i want to get the tag out of the way and we'll put the box on the floor and there you go absolutely stunning so quick tech spec features and then i'll show you the comparison between the turquoise model so japan made in japan mizuno products have been around for quite a long time uh, 30 years of making this particular model the morelia has been around for a really long time this particular model and all the made in japan products get the 24 hour lasting which is what makes the fit comfort feeling and build quality so good so basically when you have a mold of a boot and then the material of the upper gets put on and the material on the bottom gets slapped on and glued on and then in this case bolted onto the upper material and into the kind of the last it gets it gets basically sealed for 24 hours. A lot of boot brands will seal it for like, you know, five minutes or whatever in their compressor machine and then and lasting machine essentially. And then they basically go on to uh, the conveyor belt for the next thing, whereas these are handmade and they are put on the lasts and then they're held there for 24 hours, which gives it an incredible amount of build quality and just an extra level of specialness which no, no other brand really is able to do other than a couple kind of um, more more bespoke products and more handmade products that you get in maybe Italy or, or Japan usually. So this is uh, Mizuno's Kangaroo Leather which is essentially well it's in my opinion the most premium kangaroo leather you can find on the market is it it is absolutely sensationally soft and the entire upper is leather which is excellent it's not something you can find a lot in today's market you do get a little bit of lockdown features from the black 
Running Bird logo here, which is kind of a shiny synthetic black material. That goes is stitched actually on top of the leather, goes into and flows into the sole plate, and then is your a stitch into the top of the lacing system area here. So as you pull the laces tighter, you're really gonna feel the effects of that midfoot kind of allowing your foot to get a little bit of lockdown, which is a really clever integration of brand logo and iconic look while also getting the benefits of that lockdown, which is really, really nice. So that's fantastic. Now, from a stitching perspective, so now let's hop into the stitching. And I'm actually going to grab this boot down here so I can show you guys. These are obviously well, well worn, which is awesome. So the stitching pattern here, I'll show you there you can really see the differences in the stitching. So with the turquoise one, all you have are these kind of, uh, I guess, circular shaped or ovular shaped lines that go throughout the entire upper, which again, creates a very pillowy sensation on feet, makes it look very much like a cloud. Whereas on this one, you have sort of homages to like wave cup stitching patterns, and they're a little bit more, uh, both from the standpoint of stitching kind of going this way on the boot, and also you have double stitching here on these lines that are really close together. So for me, my guess is that's gonna create quite a bit of uh, less stretching to the upper. Uh, maybe it's like marginally, maybe it's like a 5% difference. But for me, these boots, as you can see, are like perfectly molded to my foot now. Like I can slip into these and be super happy and comfortable no matter where I'm playing. And obviously with the stains you can see on the bottom, I've played with these on Astro, I've played with these on natural grass and they perform perfectly well. There's zero splitting of the sole plate. Like these are genuinely some of the most durable football boots I've ever worn in my life. And I absolutely love them, including the fact that the colorway is exceptional. I love it. So with these ones, I'm imagining that the toe box area is actually going to be a little bit more snug and have a little bit more lockdown and kind of performance benefits, which I'm actually really excited for. This boot is remarkably lightweight. It, lay, it weighs less than 200 grams, which is in the six ounce range, uh, 6.5 ounce range, 6.5 ish. Yeah. 6.7 ounce range, which is remarkable for a boot that's, you know, this sort of traditional looking and also just the way it is as a football boot. So my hope is that I feel a little bit more locked in because as much as I love these, uh, they are a little bit more roomy as you break them in. So with this new stitching pattern or not new stitching pattern, but with this different stitching pattern, I am hopeful that this is, this feels at least a little bit more locked in as well. You've got a graded P-back sole plate for, um, that gives you sort of, uh, areas where it's a little more structured like the midfoot area here and then you've got the forefoot area which gives you a little bit of flex there through that kind of red area in the middle stud of course you have all conical studs which are going to be perfectly suitable for ag or fg pitches the ag or literally the turf version of this shoe is like one of the most comfortable turf shoes i've ever played in in my life those are absolutely incredible i actually just bought a pair of wave cups in the turf model which i wear on occasion as well um, just for like pickup games and for fun and these are super super nice as you can see from the turquoise model i have worn these uh, both on fg and ag pitches they are getting a little bit worn down um, maybe you can see actually this is actually kind of interesting look at the stud length like i've worn them enough that the stud length has actually shortened which is kind of funny um, they are totally worn down but that's the point of football boots in my opinion so very very beautiful football boot here with the morelia 2 made in japan i love the look of this stitching pattern as well i think i prefer this stitching pattern to the one on the turquoise model um, but that's just that's completely personal preference you're not going to really find any uh yeah i mean i no judgment if you like this one or you like this one it doesn't really matter you get a really nice plush uh, tongue area here as well. This one, of course, being one that doesn't have the fold over tongue. For the Morelia 2, I don't really like the fold over tongue. It looks amazing, but it doesn't have a lot of function as far as uh, the way that it's, it doesn't really stay down. It's sort of awkward and floppy, which I don't really like. So I tend to prefer the ones that, uh, like the turquoise one, don't have 
any sort of uh, fold over tongue. You get a really nice neutral heel area with an internal heel counter as well, which provide a good amount of structure while also giving you plenty of flexibility here through the heel to make sure that you get a nice locked in sensation on feet. The insole is a suede material on the top, which is super nice, especially for those of us who enjoy wearing grip socks or non-grip socks depending on what you like and uh, this suede material on the bottom provides quite a bit of lockdown regardless of what you're wearing so overall this is a fantastic product i love the way these look i love the way they feel on feet i'm very excited to see what the difference is between these and the turquoise model is going to feel like whether or not that stitching is going to make much of a difference but overall I think these just look iconic and of course if you don't like white and black football boots then what do you you know what are you doing what are you playing football for white and black football boots are like bread and butter that's what that's what we came from right so these are incredible looking in my opinion if i don't end up wearing these a ton they will definitely end up on the boot wall at some point as well and uh yeah so let's hop into the on feet portion of the video we'll do a little bit of a comparison between this one and the turquoise one and i'll show you guys what the differences are what the sizing is like and of course whether there are any major differences between sort of a blind test of which one feels a little bit better let's hop into it all right i'm out here in the backyard i cannot wait to try these on it's they're remarkably lightweight which is kind of crazy for a boot that's technically like your classic football boot mizuno over the past 30 years of developing this boot has done such an amazing job at cutting out all the fat which basically means you're taking away all the things that just aren't necessary to the point where you have just the things that you absolutely need for the comfort and performance of what this boot is. So I'm super, super pumped to get these on feet. They look absolutely stunning in this white, black, and red colorway. They've got a few uh, little differences from those turquoise, ver that turquoise model that I reviewed a while ago, including this stitching pattern. And I reckon these are gonna be so comfortable straight out of the box. Let's just get on with it. So keep in mind, these are in a size nine US. That's my usual size nine. Um, true to size for the Morelia two is what I've found to be the best way to go. So here we go. Oh my days. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, I would argue, <laughs> I would argue straight away that the Morelia two is probably the most comfortable football boot on the market today, period. Um, and that's like out of the box comfort. Absolutely. And then when you break it in, these just get even more comfortable, which is kind of scary because already these look at my toe box here. Like the leather is just so premium. It's so soft. It is just absolutely perfect in and around your foot. And I, oh, you just can't not love these. Goodness gracious. Yeah, these are sensational. Oh my God. That's why they are God tier football boots. All right, or S tier or whatever your top tier is, whatever your tier list is from top to bottom, they are the upper, upper, upper echelon. These are the, these are the cream of the crop. These are the best. These are um, miles better than most leather boots on the market. And then they are definitely, I think, a couple steps ahead of a few other manufacturers that are also really incredible. Um, I would say, you know, Diodora leather boots are pretty good and have been pretty good in the past. I would say. Uh, Pentafolo Doro has been pretty good in the past. I would say Adler boots are incredible. These are like the best of the best of the best, honestly. Like straight away, they are just incredible. They're, they're the perfect combination of plush and pillowy feeling, but they're also six, I think they're like six ounces or something like that. A hundred and they're just under 200 grams, 195 grams, which is absolutely ridiculous for a boot that's this kind of classic and um, I guess, you know, quote unquote, old timer, if you will, even though I would argue that these are just as modern as any other football boot on the market and they are so dumb comfortable. Like these take absolutely zero break in time. So if you're looking for a pair of football boots that are, um, really not gonna take any sort of break in time. They're gonna be just absolutely pure class and comfort without any distractions. The Morelia 2 made in Japan is the way to go. Now, you might be asking, Noah, where did you buy these? And this is not a plug, because I paid for these, um, but this, 
I actually get some of my Made in Japan Mizuno products, especially unique ones with like this type of stitching pattern that you can't get really anywhere. Um, I get these from a shop in Singapore called Tokyo Football, and I'll leave uh, their Instagram tag on screen and then um, I'll maybe put down in the description box below the link to their website, but they have they have not a ton of stock of stuff uh, as, as far as options go. Like some of the bigger retail stores have more options, uh, but Tokyo Football carries a bunch of stuff that's really unique to the Japanese and Asian markets, including Asics and Mizuno products that you can't really get anywhere else and they ship internationally. So for those of you who are looking for a pair like this, like I was, um, they, they're like an awesome shop. And I, as I said before, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, they didn't send me this particular pair, uh, but that is just, uh, just a plug for you guys. Cause this, oh, I just getting them from a retail store where, you know, they're going to be legit and they're going to be super good shipping and everything is always nice. So yeah. And these are just insane. So here we go. Full look at the Morelia two made in Japan. I could sit in these all day right now. Like they don't crush my feet. They feel amazing, super pillowy and soft. Um, really, really incredible from just a fit and feel perspective. Even though this is not really like a playing turf, like there's no you know rubber pellets underneath or anything that's cushioning it, you would never play on this. I still don't feel any hot spots underneath my feet. There's no stud pressure at all, which um, playing with the turquoise model a bunch with Flower City last year on that AstroTurf pitch in Rochester, New York, I didn't have any pressure points on the bottom of my feet, which foot health is obviously very important. And when you're playing on a pitch that is a little bit harder, sometimes you get a little bit of pressure points if you're wearing FG or even AG models. These ones, zero pressure points, which is crazy because, uh, you know, on, a, on such a short turf pitch, it's just amazing how neutral and balanced the sole plate feels without being kind of, you know, overcompensating in any sort of way. Touch on the ball, I imagine, is gonna be basically perfect, yeah. These are, man, the, just the way that you can ping with these, I just think is incredible. Now, I know that this one is a unique, partic like particularly unique pair of football boots because of the stitching pattern. Now, the stitching pattern is something that we'll probably see more of in the play test and, or notice more, I should say, in the play test. So it's, as you can see, it's here in the forefoot area. You've just got like a, instead of having just the little pillow or ridges that go kind of like that, you actually have a whole kind of spider web of stitching um, that's gonna prevent that upper from overstretching, probably more more so than that turquoise model. So in the play test and in some of my own training sessions and then in the one month review, we'll go over it, you know, the, the tiny little percentages of change between this one and the turquoise model as far as stitching pattern and how that affects play and lockdown and all that stuff. We'll go over all that stuff in future videos. Right now, just standing here, you can't really tell. Um, you, you still get that same incredibly premium, incredibly plush feel on the top of your foot. And obviously manipulating the ball is has zero distractions. You know, Obviously there's no grip on it and stuff. So if you're not fussed with not having any grip, these might be a great option for you, especially because they're so light. And I think people misunderstand when they look at a classic pair like this and they go, oh, it's gonna be really heavy. Funny enough, these are actually lighter weight than the non-beta version of the Morelia Neo 4 made in Japan, which is crazy because that's technically their speed boot, but these are like the classic boot and they're even, I think they're like five grams lighter, which again, you're not gonna notice if you put, I can't even notice them side by side, Needless to say, they're just ridiculously lightweight. So if you like that lightweight feel, but you want that kind of plush, elegant touch on the ball that just feels like a, it's like that maestro feeling, I would highly recommend these. Mizuno Morelia 2 made in Japan for the win. So that's gonna wrap up the video for today, guys. As I said before, go check out Tokyo Football. They are awesome, awesome, awesome. Really cool shop, and they're uh, pretty responsive on their Instagram page as well, so if you have any questions, I'm sure you can DM them and stuff. Um, but yeah, go check them out. If you got value from this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if, if you haven't already joined the fam. Let me know down in the comments section below if there's anything that I missed in this video, whether it's in the on-feet portion or in the unboxing portion. Happy to answer any questions that come through. So as always, be awesome, take care. I'll see y'all in the next video.